Babies and toddlers are thought to be able to sense things that adults are too close-minded to perceive, and nanny cams can often verify this theory. After all, it only makes sense that a camera running constantly throughout the night would pick up a strange occurrence at some point. Number 11. Katie O'Connor is living all by herself in Overland Park, Kansas, when she hears an urgent knock at her apartment door. When she answers it, she is grabbed and forced onto the couch by two strangers. Get the tape. The woman on the right is also with them, but this person is no stranger to Katie. She has pretended to be friends with Katie for quite some time, and then for whatever reason, decided to take all of her friend's valuables at random. Things become very grim when the trio notices the nanny cam. I thought it was just like on a personal level though, like I thought she was trying to be my friend. I just feel dumb for letting them into my house. The thieves got away. I did some digging around and found out that police eventually did arrest the female accomplice, whose name is Cheyenne Marie Watts. I unfortunately couldn't find anything about her sentencing. The two men were still at large when she was arrested, and as far as I know, they were never identified or caught. Number 10. This nanny cam video supposedly originates from somewhere on the deep web. A girl is singing to herself while playing when suddenly she is interrupted by a low growl off screen. She lowers her guard and resumes playing, and that's when something unspeakable happens to her. An impossibly long arm reaches out and snatches the girl with inhuman speed. Her short, terrified scream is interrupted by a sickening crunch. I sincerely hope, for the sake of all humanity, that this video is not real. Number 9. A YouTuber named Rex Dickinson puts a nanny cam in his son's room because the three-year-old says that he's been seeing ghosts almost every night for months. Rex isn't really expecting to find much, but one night he comes home from work only to discover that his oldest son was apparently telling the truth all along. The ghost, or whatever it is, seems to be especially fascinated with the boy's younger brother, who is less than two. Rex and his wife watch in amazement as a bright white entity seems to trace its way along the body of their youngest child. It's time to move in. The strange light eventually settles down by the child's midsection and stops moving for a while. When Rex goes into the room, the phantom light is nowhere to be found, and it's no longer on the nanny cam either. I personally have no idea what could have given off this intense light signature. It looks too weird to be a laser pointer or anything like that. Let me know if you think this is truly paranormal or some sort of special effect. Number 8. A YouTuber named Solarity789 has a baby monitor that's been picking up some strange interference. The only question is whether this loud conversation is between two humans or some sort of correspondence from the other side. There's a good chance that this baby monitor is on the same wavelength as the CB radios that truckers use, in which case this video is nothing out of the ordinary. With that said, some people have claimed to hear strange paranormal messages throughout this video. If you think you heard the voices say something, or if this video made you feel strange, then be sure to tell me what happened in the comments. Number 7. Barbara Anderson is alone wearing only a nightgown in her Atlanta, Georgia home when an armed intruder slides through an unlocked side door. He told me to lie down on the bed, with, put my face in the pillow. He makes off with thousands in cash and jewelry, but his spree is not over yet. 
He chooses another home just four miles down the road and rings the doorbell eight times before kicking his way inside. What's most alarming of all is how he prowls around the house with his firearm raised, obviously ready to use it if necessary. The unidentified man tears the house apart and carries away two televisions, a laptop, and a valuable ring that had been kept within the family for more than 60 years. Overall, the man has stolen more than $50,000 worth of valuables from people's homes. I don't think he was ever caught. Number 6. A YouTuber named Walter Dudich has captured something strange hovering above his child that no one has been able to properly explain. A rigid beam of light slowly makes its way across the room until it's positioned directly above the head of Walter's sleeping child, at which point it silently drifts away. Walter says that he was not able to see this light with his own eyes when he went in to check, but he could still see it on the nanny cam. Perhaps this video is the result of a camera malfunction, but then again I'm not sure what the nanny cam could have mistaken for a streak of light in what Walter claims was a completely darkened room. Other YouTubers are claiming it's either a paranormal spirit of a loved one or else some sort of alien gadget. Let me know if you agree with any of these explanations. Number 5. A man named Robert has been seeing the same floating orb in his Colorado home every morning between 3 and 6 a.m. He finally decides to set up a nest cam so that he'll have some evidence to back up his claims. Sure enough, this is what his cam detected floating around his living room early in the morning. Robert quickly put this video online to get more opinions from the general public. To some viewers, this looks like a potentially paranormal spirit orb, curiously checking out Robert's home in a wavy pattern. To others, it looks like a speck of dust trapped in a current of air. I think it could possibly be CGI but maybe somebody who's better than me at special effects could let me know if this looks real or not. If Rob's story about the orb appearing at the same time every morning is true, then this is almost certainly a paranormal encounter. Unfortunately, that's something that only Rob can know for sure. Number 4. Michaela Long is babysitting her niece and decides to look at the baby monitor to see how she's sleeping. What she sees her niece doing startles her so badly, she takes a picture so that others will believe her. Her little niece completely motionless but still breathing. Somehow, she has fallen asleep in a twisted headstand that even Michaela admits looks like the posture of a possessed person. The situation would have been almost comical if it wasn't so eerie, especially with the way she's cast in the baby monitor's pale blue glow. I'm not sure if her niece ever displayed this strange sleeping habit again or if it was just a one-time thing, but I have to admit that I have never heard of anyone falling asleep in this position, let alone a toddler. Tell me what you think of this, and if you think it's something paranormal or just kids being weird. Number 3. It's 9.30 at night when a mother in Billings, Montana receives an urgent alert on her phone. She's alarmed to find a screenshot taken by her motion-activated nanny cam just a few rooms down. As you can see, the picture shows a tall man that she has never seen before looking back at the camera with a bewildered expression. Her daughter's crib is in the background. The mother rushes into the room, scoops up the child, and bolts out of the house. When the Billings Police Department arrives, they find no one inside and now this photo remains the only evidence that an intruder was ever there. This is still an active investigation as far as I know. Who could say what would have happened that night had the nanny cam had not alerted the mother of a dangerous stranger lurking within the home? Number 2 Sandy Kaplanis has a 14-year-old chocolate lab with kidney failure, so she uses a nanny cam to make sure the pet's still okay while she's at work. One day, she logs onto her account only to receive this perplexing image. It appears to be a girl laying in a children's ward at the hospital. 
she looks restless and unable to sleep, and some people claim she is wasting away. At the same time, the girl is surrounded by toys and a wilted star hangs above her, but other than that, her exact circumstances remain unclear. For more than 24 hours, Sandy was shown this still image instead of her dog. She contacted the nanny cam's manufacturer, and when they couldn't provide a proper explanation, she went to the local news. Not much came from their investigation, so it could be a basic software glitch. Or maybe this mysterious girl was trying to reach out and tell Sandy something before she passed away. We'll never know for sure. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YTChills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Sunday. Number 1. A YouTuber named Cats, Dogs, and a Squirrel is recording her son Connor laughing on nanny cam. It seems like a warm family moment until she suddenly hears what he's laughing at. Listen closely and you'll hear a very strange noise that happens two separate times. She emailed the unnerving video to all of her relatives and was surprised when her sister-in-law immediately recognized the noise. Apparently, her father would make the exact same noise to get her to laugh as a baby. This could just be a strange coincidence. Or maybe the grandfather really is spending some quality time with his grandson after passing away. This definitely sounds like a human voice, and there's no doubt that it makes the child laugh. I personally think this video is legitimate because Cats, Dogs, and a Squirrel runs a very small YouTube channel that's filled with content around raising a family. None of her other videos are like this one at all, and there's absolutely no clickbait thumbnails or a title like most fake videos. I went in there a few minutes after the recording and gave him a bottle. And uh, and at one point he stopped with the bottle and, and looked past me and started smiling. Police detectives are allowed to use a wide variety of mind games to convince suspects to tell them everything they know. And these advanced tactics are designed to get all of the details until every last memory has been squeezed dry. Most of the confessions on this list came only after hours of intense questioning, though some were willing to fully recall all of their wrongdoings as if they were fond memories. 